Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're jumping in again and of course we are making our way downtown with good old YV. Unlocking more Ultra Mutations. We have three things to do at the moment and they're pretty interesting. We've got three different Ultras to go for with this guy. And all of them seem relatively easy. In, fa in theory we could do all of them in one run if we get lucky. So the first one is when we hit Ultra hold two melee weapons which I think is definitely plausible. Uh, the second is... Um, gotta love some grenade launcher action. The second is uh, have nothing that prevents death. Um, and the third one is have... I think it's... Let me check. Oh, the screen's gonna go black a second here. The third one is don't have more than one reload mutation. So, kind of interesting. So we don't want anything reload based. Um, we want to go for things that are melee. We don't want anything that prevents death. I don't think second stomach counts for preventing death, but I'm still going to go with impact wrists anyways, because if we're going melee, impact wrist is normally pretty good with melee, I'd say. The pop on that is very nice. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Oh, are you kidding me? What the hell? Unfortunately, I don't have any golden melee weapons to, uh, to go for to start with, which is a shame, because that would definitely make the start a little easier, but obviously we're going to be grabbing long arms the moment we see it, regardless if we have melee weapons at the time or not. Um, we'll see what we end up getting. We'll see how it goes. We could, of course, grab some mutations to make things a little easier either side. I would like to uh, grab that. Thank you. I do like this weapon. With pop, this thing's probably pretty good, to be honest. E, it is. I like it. <laughs> so we're definitely looking for melee. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll open that up. That's that's pretty good. Didn't even mean to go straight through there. So that's the sort of thing we don't want to take. Um, Plutonium Hunger, I've grown to love. I think it's like kind of a necessity nowadays. So if I ever get it, just because the range increase on it's huge. I don't know if it's just a placebo of the visual effect or if it genuinely is further on this mod. But it seems so unbelievably far. Unfortunately, no melee weapons as of yet. I'm going to say we need two by the time we level up to Ultra, so... It's not guaranteed to happen. Um, this is good with this, I think. Yeah. This is pretty good. I realise that obviously as a melee thing, it's not going to be good. And honestly, I didn't even check if there was long arms available then. I probably should have done. I didn't even try to look. I'll be honest. Didn't even try to look. But so far, this is not bad. There it is. Long arms. Get out of here, you. What's going on with that car? It's like glitching out. I don't know if it's worth popping with this thing, to be honest. Who's my fish? That is a splinter miss. That's a melee weapon. I will take that. Oh, it's a melee weapon that requires ammo. So, kind of a weird one. Um, impact wrists again, I think. I'm definitely going to be keeping this a little while. Because this thing with, um, the tail, whatever it's called, is very good. Director Slugger. We're already level 5, so we're doing pretty well. Dude, those enemies are so much tougher than they used to be. <laughs> I'll be really, really careful around them now. Good stuff. That's not it. That's not it. I would have thought that was it, but someone be lurking up above. Um, so we can't take trigger fingers because that's a reload. Uh, uh, wait, one second. Did it say I have to have at least one? Um, don't have more than one. So let's just take none. Let's just take none. Um, we don't want last wish because that's a prevent death. Eagle Eye's probably good. We'll go with Gamma Guts, because Gamma Guts is good for melee. Eventually, we are going to hopefully have two melees. Melees are pretty common, right? We should be able to get two melees before we hit Ultra. I'd say they're common enough for that to be plausible. This with Pop Pops is real good. I'm really liking it. Wanted to check what that weapon was first, but oh well. What's done is done. 
kind of a little wary of this area, to be honest, because the boss is so much harder than it used to be. This boss used to be an absolute breeze for the most part, and it's a pretty tricky boss nowadays. It's got all these extra shots. I think it does have less health now, maybe. It's got all these extra things, and it's got, like, these shots that fall out the sky as well. There's just a lot of extra stuff going on. I, th I think it's an amazing rework, to be honest, because the boss was a bit boring before. It's definitely got some more shit going on now. And it's still not, as you can see, it's still not an insanely difficult fight either. It's about fitting for the level. I think before it was a little easier than where it should have, but now it's a little more fitting. A little more, more befitting of where it belongs, sort of thing. I'm literally only using Pop Pop at the minute. I just think it's really worth it with this. The teapot boys are uh, doing a number on me right now. I'll be honest, I don't know how I haven't, haven't been hit yet. I feel like I'm right in the thick of it and I'm just somehow dodging out the way of everything. It's, it's kind of brilliant. I say that and get hit literally straight away. Disc eraser sounds like hell on earth. Um, the fists always good. That's a bad hit there, but luckily with um, what's it called? Forget, there you go. We should be, I was just about to say it's meant for hunger is what I meant. I was gonna say we should be healing pretty quickly and easily off of uh, enemies that are dying miles away from us. So. I'm not really that worried about damage taken, as long as it's not going to be in a situation where it's likely to be fatal. Fuck off. Damn, it's still no melee. Still no melee. Bounce is always fun. I'm a long YV. Unfortunately, not a great time for this boss because of the uh, fact that he fires all the pink shots, which we can't reflect. We can stop them and slow them down, but I'll be honest, if anything, that makes things harder sometimes. Wow, that was a really good fight against him there. I didn't know that these destroyed green bullets. It's very good to know, because the green bullets are particularly difficult. I think that was a melee weapon in there, wasn't it? Energy hammer, there you go, we've done it. We've got two melee weapons and the two ammo-based melee weapons that use different ammo types, so we're in a good spot here. I mean, energy hammer's actually kind of insane damage-wise, so that's kind of nice. Good job we got gamma guts here in case uh, shit hits the fan a little bit. And we can actually stay behind the wall here in order to hit these guys, which makes my life a hell of a lot easier. Energy hammer's the way to go. Looks like we are going to have to fight uh, the boss with these weapons, which is kind of scary because ammo-based melee weapons, morph hammer, is that the same ammo type it is. Morph hammer versus... Let's have a look. Energy hammer's 9, morph hammer's 10. I guess I'll take this just in case it's better. We'll see. I honestly don't know which one would be better here. Um, Bloodlust, I guess. From extra healing. I'm a little wary that we're so close here to literally unlocking all three mutations in one, all three ultras in one go. I'm a bit, I'm a bit too wary of that to be honest. It's, it's, it's freaking me out. <laughs> we're really close. We're gonna have to beat uh, both versions of the throne, though, I think, in order to get enough rads. My, my thing that I'm most wary of, honestly, at the minute, is the fact that we have a distinct lack of ammo. Well, that was nice and easy. That That is an infinite ammo melee weapon, but I don't think it's going to get this job done. I think Morph Hammer is going to be pretty good here. I mean, both of these are actually pretty good. 70 damage there. I never remember exactly how much health this guy has. I really should sort of pay attention to that because it'd be a bit, it'd make the fight easier. Well, this thing's doing a lot more damage. Just all the splinters are hitting, so... We'll stick with this thing for now. I hate the way it clearly knows when you're using melee. 
Is it like is, is attacks come out at specific angles when you're kneeling? Okay, so that, that was like 700. We're at level 9 here. So it, like I said, we are going to have to beat this guy with this next bit with melee, which scares the jeebus out of me. Um, we'll go with that. Yeah, killing this with, with only melee is not what I'd say is a fun time. Luckily, we've got strong defense, so it shouldn't be that difficult to survive. And obviously, we're getting a lot of ammo. I was actually more worried about the range that we had, but honestly, it's not proving to be that big of a deal, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a really big problem, but yeah, that was piss. We have to do one more stage with melee only. I was really hoping we wouldn't have to, but here we are. Morph hammer all the way. I got hit by something there, and I don't really know what. Luckily, we've got plutonium hunger here, so health shouldn't be that big of a concern, I wouldn't think. There you go, we got our ultra. Now we just got to survive. Now we've just got to survive. Right, we should get all three here, technically. Yes! <laughs> Look at that, baby. All three in one run. Okay, so we got the uh, Vesuvian Air Horn. Near infinite reload speed, all reloads you cheat will need to be reloaded in the next area. Oh, shit. So, basically, you can... Over, you can, you can basically like spam your weapon as many times as you want, but when you get to the next area, you might have to spend like literally minutes reloading. Picking up a weapon no longer reloads your weapon. Okay, interesting. Can no longer pop pop guns. 45% higher melee swing range. Melee is fully automatic, can pop pop melee. Interesting. When both your guns are reloaded, you are immune for two seconds. Oh man. Obviously, we're going with this because of the. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Okay. Um. Well, let's just... So, flame axe over this, I think, is the way to go here. We got any more other good melee weapons in here? Auto spear launcher. Super kraken. Golden charge for the love bomber. Battling bazooka. Could have many melee weapons here, to be honest, by the looks of things. Skullbreaker. Hmm, interesting. I think it's just the flame axe and the golden uh, lands, to be honest, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, there is a, a blood hammer here as well, actually. I'll take both of those. They're for infinite ammo for a little better. How did I get to zero HP? Oh, I think the blood hammer hurts me when I use it, actually. Oh, I think it hurts me when I miss, specifically. There's something firing maggots at me, and I just don't, don't look like it. Alright. Okay, then. Oh, it's you. You just fire maggots. Okay, fair enough. Alrighty, then. Okay, it's time to take a crown. I mean, I think we're going to go with shotgun on this thing here. And crown, where art thou? We are definitely going to be taking replace weapon mod stations with ultra chests. Yes, please. I love the fact that melee is automatic. This is amazing. What? Like, melee YV is... This is all the fun. Super Kraken gun. Spike staff. Explosive hammer. This might be kind of insane. Also very dangerous, but we've got a lot of range, so... We shall see.
Yeah, okay. Very dangerous on, on loot. Very dangerous on loot. Probably not worth. I think we just killed the boss, you know. I haven't really pop popped my weapon yet with my uh, thing. I don't really think you need to, to be honest, when you've got fully automatic. I think you just get hit twice there. This fire one doesn't actually do that much damage. Like, look how long it's taken to kill that car there. I think, honestly, we're killing most things with um, the knockback of enemies into other enemies. I don't actually think we're doing that much damage. We just almost die. In we go. Energy Scythe. Yes, please. Oh, that's a big scythe as well. That's a big scythe. Um, in here, we'll put the... Um... I don't know what we'll put in there. Maybe we'll put the frost blower in there. Energy scythe. Yes, please. Keep this trainer rolling. Oh, yeah. This thing with the extra range is, is pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> Just kind of rinse through everything. Yeah, you keep firing, dude. See what that does for you. Although, I just realized the ammo consumption of this thing is ludicrously high. This is that uh, old reliable. Yeah, at the minute I'm just looking to get as many um, golden weapons as I can get. And this is the best way to do it, going to loop and grabbing this crown. There's no way I look through this. There's just no way. There's too much going on for me to live here. When it comes to the big boys, just use this thing. It does so much more damage. At least the fire is like good at taking out those weaker enemies, the smaller guys. I can't believe we unlocked all three in one go, though. That's just awesome. This means we've got so much more choices in the late game now. It's just funny, though, how, like, I've never come across those accidentally, either. Wow, level one Jaws Butter. Gotta love that. Is that not it? How is there still more? Where is there still more? Okay, there's apparently one guy up here. Better not just be the one. Basically, it's just the one. Use it. We need enemies to be like really heavily grouped like the first two stages. That's where we thrive. Without that, we don't be too hot. We do fine, but like it's not not the same. Yeah, you with a car, put that fuck down. A weapon tears on on um chests are not great right now. Yeah, our overall damage just isn't anything special. It's fine, but for loop, it's, it's kind of meh. It's just our, our damage to groups is, is very nice. 
But like this. Okay, I, I, I genuinely thought those guys were going to kill me there. Like, I'm just, I'm just walking. I don't even know how I'm alive. I do not know how I'm alive. Oh, there's still a boss alive. That's part of why this stage isn't over yet. No way. Okay, I didn't realize he'd just explode like that and kill me. But boom, there you go, people. That was, that was an exciting episode. I know this is a short one, but we had literally achieved exactly what we were looking to achieve. So I'm going to try and get more of these going and unlock as many of these as, ca uh, as we can, as quickly as we can. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.